Hello once again guys, I hope you're all doing absolutely great and welcome back to a brand new video with me Pixels23 and it's time for the third instalment in our World of Warcraft transmog farming series. We've already visited two dungeons so far and now it's time for a third one and this time it's going to be Hellfire Ramparts. So we are going to run this dungeon 50 times in total and hopefully by the end of those 50 runs we'll have our hands on some sweet loot and also at the end of this video I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on the gold that we've made thus far from our previous two dungeons so do hang around until the end for that too but for now it's time to head into Hellfire Ramparts I'm going to show you a full run first and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the loot that I got from the 50 runs in total so here we go guys let's do this And away we go. So here we go, a few things while we just run through this dungeon, guys. Um, it's a really easy dungeon to start with. You can't get lost or anything like that. It's very, very linear, and it's also a very short dungeon. And uh, that means that you will easily get your uh, 10 runs in within one hour. You'll see on the screen now that I do a pretty uh, leisurely run through this dungeon, and I still easily manage to get 10 runs in in an hour so no worries regarding that guys uh, I would suggest just choosing a class that can get through this uh, pretty fast if you just want to get it over and done with so maybe bring a druid or something like that uh, but those of you who watch my videos regularly know that I usually bring my druid uh, for these farming sessions uh, but I am actually on my mage this time and that's just because uh, my druid has lots of things in their bags right now and um, that I need to use and there are just some quests that I'm currently working on and it was just a lot easier just to bring my mage but it doesn't really matter guys as to what class you bring here and the only other thing that I would mention is to uh, actually kill the mobs as you go as you can see here I wouldn't recommend actually trying to uh, group them up and kill them in a huge pack uh, because for whatever reason the mobs in this dungeon have a terrible tendency of uh, pathing back, which you will see an example of in a second. So that can be pretty annoying, so I just recommend uh, killing them as you go. As you can see here, I am actually trying to group some of them up, and uh, you'll see I pull them around the corner here, just to try and pull the casters closer to me, and uh, you'll see one of the guys just run back straight away, and they've uh, literally just pulled that guy, uh, so you can imagine if you're trying to do that through the entire dungeon, it's just not going to work. So just kill them as you go guys. Just kill and loot. Like I say, it's a really short dungeon anyway, um, so it really doesn't matter. It doesn't take up too much time. You can just go for a leisurely stroll and uh, not worry that you're not going to get your 10 runs in in an hour. Um, so here we are at the uh, second to last boss. We just have one more to kill and that will complete our first full run. And then we can go ahead and look at all of the loot that we've got for our 50 runs in this instance. But yeah, it's been a long, long time since I came to Hellfire Ramparts. And to be completely honest, I came here totally blind uh, with regards to loot and what possible rares we could get. Because uh, obviously that is the main point of this series, to try and get some uh, rare blues at least. Although some greens do sell nicely too, and I will touch upon that shortly uh, once we've done these runs uh, towards the end of the video when I'm going to tell you about the gold I've actually made. But here we go guys, we're now on to the last boss. I do kill all of the mobs in this instance, including the bosses, and that's just because the blues sell for, you know, they sell for at least 10 gold each or something like that. So you do get a fair bit of gold uh, just from doing the instance itself, from drops from mobs. So it's not totally a lost cause if you get absolutely crap drops from your time here. Um, but you know, you're not going to get rich or anything just by looting. So fingers crossed you can get some cool loot if you do head here. And uh, there we go guys, there is a full run of Hellfire Ramparts. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the loot that we got from our 50 runs. Okay, and here are my bags after our first 10 runs, guys. I'm going to show you these in, like, 10 run increments, um, so you can see all of the green items here, and there will be a full list 
of all the items that I actually got from this instance in the description of this very video. Um, so you can go there and check it out and you can obviously wowhead any items that you're interested in to see if there's any uh, transmogs uh, that you want to go and farm there. But we didn't get that many rares guys, here we'll take a look, we've got the Pendant of Cunning, um, which doesn't sell for a huge amount, so that's no great deal there. Uh, we did get a schematic for the ornate Korean rifle, um, I think that is probably our biggest seller from those first 10 runs, and we also got the Five of Storms, so there we go guys. That was the loot from our first 10 runs, and as I said, there will be a full list of loot in the description of this video. Okay, so our next 10 runs was even worse guys, we didn't get one rare item, uh, just greens, and as you can see we probably get around a thousand netherweave cloth for every 10 runs, so you look at it like a hundred netherweave cloth um, each run. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about the total amount of gold you'll make just from looting and stuff like that, I didn't look into it that deeply, uh, but it's not a massive amount, but anyway guys, those 10 runs were pretty disappointing. Okay, so we are now on to the third set of 10 runs. This is runs 21 to 30, and we did get a few cool things during these runs. Again, it wasn't amazing, but we did get some Bloodscale leggings. In fact, we've got a couple of those, and they go uh, for a decent price, and it looks like they actually sell pretty nice too. And we also got this Skettiest Curve Blade, which isn't like a massive seller or anything, you know, price-wise, um, but I just think it looks pretty cool. Uh, so we've got that. And we also got this that I can't remember seeing before, uh, this uh, dandelion, is it a, the, like a dream seeker? Is it the dream seeker dandelion? Yeah, so we also got that guys, and it looks like that could sell for a decent price. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try that, but as for rares, we got the uh, breastplate of blade turning. There we go, we'll take a look at that. Again, not a massive priced item at all. And uh, yeah, then we also got the Eight of Lunacy, and that concluded our third set of 10 runs in Hellfire Ramparts. Okay, so now we're going to go on to runs 31 to 40. And so another 10 disappointing runs in terms of loot. Again, you can see uh, all the green items here. You did get a fair few weapons, so I guess that's pretty cool if you're coming here for a transmog. But this dungeon does not have a massive loot table, uh, but you can see some of the sets that you can uh, acquire and put together in Hellfire Rampart. So again, do check out the description for all of those items that are listed there. But here we go, guys, on to the last 10 runs. And I couldn't actually believe it, during these last 10 runs, our luck really did change. Not like massively, uh, but we actually saw some rare items drop, which was very nice to see indeed. Um, not that many green items this time, uh, but we did get some rares. So we've got the Six of Furies there, again that's no big deal whatsoever. We got the Boots of the Decimator, we got the Blade of Misfortune, which looks like it could sell for a pretty nice price. We also got the Blade of Trap Knowledge. And we also got the Gloves of Piety. So there we go guys, we actually got some rare items there during our last 10 runs. But I do not think that Hellfire Ramparts is going to be a big gold maker in terms of transmog. Either that or I had a very unlucky 10 runs. But either way, that was our loot guys and I will update you in future videos about how they sell. But now I'm going to go ahead and take a minute to talk about the gold we've already made. So thus far in this series we've ran two dungeons. We ran Zulfarak and we also ran Sunken Temple. And I haven't actually made an update as to the gold that we made from them. And I can tell you now guys I don't have like a complete exact amount. But I have been keeping tabs as best I can. Because there were just so many items that my uh, bank halt was selling, um, but I can conclude that we were in the figure of 120,000 gold. That is what we made from uh, Zulfarak 
and from Sunken Temple combined. And I can sort of estimate that about 85k of that was from uh, Zulfarak. So that kind of gives you an idea about how those two dungeons performed. I still haven't sold any of the big ticket items, but I have been kind of surprised about some of the greens that have been selling, especially things like uh, necklaces and uh, jewelry. It's just crazy, guys. But yeah, some items that you don't think will sell actually do sell. So transmog is a very, very strange thing to be in, uh, but it is kind of cool. And at the end of the day, if uh, some of the things that you're trying to sell don't sell, at least if you don't already know them, you have some new transmog pieces that you can put to your own collection. Uh, but there we go guys, so yeah, we've made pretty much 120,000 gold thus far. And if you work it out, that's like 1,200 gold for each run of either Sulfarak or Sunken Temple. So if you look at it that way, then it doesn't seem that bad. It's just transmog takes a long time to sell, so obviously I still have many items from those instances that are still on my bank character. Um, but just with the nature of selling transmog, they'll be there for a while, but hopefully one day we'll get that buyer. And it's just basically like a production line, guys. We just keep, we just keep getting these items and putting them up there, and little by little, they'll keep selling. So I'll be back soon with another episode of transmog farming in World of Warcraft, and hopefully we can start making some more decent gold very, very soon. Okay, guys, I'll be back soon with some more WoW content. Have a great day, and bye for now.